let me tell uh, in this video uh, a little like uh, unpleasant topic uh, like all the topics about Rambom Jun but it's a little like untypical because I wrote in uh, one of my comments as a reaction on uh, the comment of Amrita Tran, Buddha lover, Maitreya lover and other other nicknames she is inventing. Uh, I wrote that Bomjon's compassion, which she perceives as, as huge love and care and healing her, uh, I wrote an analogy that it's like a compassion of the uh, pig farmer or chicken farmer. Uh, but I like the uh, analogy of pig farming more. Why? Because it's not because uh, I would look down at the followers like they are dirty pigs. No, uh, it's it was not meant like that. It's uh, because I'm from Europe and European, um, I mean, uh, villagers, not my family, we were town people, but villagers in Eastern Europe, they have, they were uh, keeping pigs in quite a lot, even now maybe some people, but those times, back in the communist times, uh, and people were poorer, so they had their own pigs, and uh, I have seen, because I was invited to uh, villages, that they uh, care about these pigs very much, that they even give them names sometimes and they feed them with very good food. So, uh, yes, uh, they care about so that they have all the vitamins and they care that they have uh, potato and uh, uh, enough nutrition so that get beautifully fat. And uh, Yes, they love their pigs sometimes, yeah, they care about them and the pig, they give them good uh, places to stay. And this is the same, uh, like you see in Nepal, people are farming, uh, keeping uh, goats. Uh, they are not keeping the goat because they want to make the goat happy. But uh, if you had ever visited Nepal, and the small baby goats are born. Uh, sometimes I was so surprised because these farmers, they really love those baby goats and they uh, play with them and the children play with them. But uh, they give them so much love, yes. And uh, everyone knows in Nepal that if someone is keeping goats, then that is for cutting down at one point. So. Uh, these Nepali farmers are keeping the goats from baby and petting them and loving them, giving them names and at one point they eat them. <laughs> and the same, uh, the pig farmer, it's, it's, uh, for me it's a more a stronger analogy because the pig is getting so fat, yes? So, so the farmers in Eastern Europe, they used to feed the pigs or the no I don't know in English this this bird the white bird and they, they feed it so that it's so fat and then they can cut it down and so I wrote this analogy because uh, Bon John's love and Maitri and compassion what his followers among whom I was before what uh, we followers uh, mistakenly consider his love. He, he is actually just feeding his uh, farm animals. At one point he is going to cut us down. And uh, <laughs> it's, uh, I know it sounds terrible, but uh, I tend to laugh, but there are dead people behind this farming. Of Bom John. There are many dead people cut down by this farming. So it's, it's not a joke. I was on chains and I was very near to this farming. He's actually farming our souls. He's not feeding us with food. He's feeding our souls and our illusions. 
uh, this is the soul farming. <laughs> And uh, there was a fantastic book, yeah, it, somehow it came to my mind, this Abbott, the writer was Abbott, and I read it in Hungarian, so I don't know the exact translation into English. It was about the word flatland, it was called flatland, the, the dimension of uh, flatland. And uh, anyway, uh, the flatland people were not able to conceive the three three dimensions because they were flat they had only two dimensions so they saw everything yeah, in their two two dimensional uh, way or there were there was a bigger truth but they were so narrow minded that they were not ready to uh, investigate if there is a third dimension as well and if we could look at the things from a different point of view and when the, <laughs> I just remember when I was reading that the, uh, there was this uh, this ball coming, three-dimensional ball coming, and his the projection of the ball was uh, a circle, yeah, a flat circle. So uh, they they couldn't understand that it's much more than a circle; it's a ball. That there are other dimensions also to the truth. And so this is uh, quite similar. Uh, to me, that time it was like an analogy about God and the spirituality, that uh, human beings are living in like a small dimensional world, uh, but there are other dimensions, but we are unable to perceive the full truth because we are just living in our flatland, uh, which is thanks God, three-dimensional, but there are also, according to the ancient uh, Indian philosophy, there are more dimensions, even above. Uh, but this video is not about uh, science and philosophy, it's about Bom Jones followers perceiving uh, what is compassion and uh, Bom Jones soul farming. So Bom Jones compassion and, lo and love to his followers is that he is attracting them to himself like a magnet. He has his ways. The, those ways are considered magic, but uh, it's a very high level of magic. Uh, it's not like a shaman magic. And you just get totally like drugged. You, you don't even know anymore uh, what you want, who you are, and just you want to be to serve Bomjun at, at any price, and uh, I see it. I was in this drug state very long, and I see it in his current followers as well. And so I cannot condemn them. I'm just trying my best, but it would be good if they start to think those who are uh, who still have a connection to their own soul, to their own identity, that uh, this is just not real love. Uh, Bom John, uh, his Bom John's victims had been all his former uh, followers. He's not picking up people from the street to torture and chain and rape. It's always that he wants to uh, harm his own followers because he wants the, our souls so his uh, first he is uh, brainwashing us and makes us totally believe him. And at one point he separates our body from our soul. Slowly, in torture, uh, humiliation, demoralizing, physical torture and Unfortunately, in the case of many victims, even by killing them. Uh, the danger in this is that, uh, from a spiritual viewpoint, we cannot speak about secular viewpoint because secularity cannot um, deal with things which are uh, scientifically, uh, how to say, uh, not possible to prove. So, uh, 
things which are happening on the spiritual level, uh, secular people don't deal with that. But even from the secular view, what Bonjon is doing is a crime. But because I am a spiritual person, so from the spiritual viewpoint, Bonjon is farming our soul, feeding our soul with beautiful feelings, happiness feelings, drug states, connections with him, elevating feelings, uh, <laughs> visions, <laughs> With voices, noises, uh, music of the spheres, anything. Uh, people are describing so many elevating feelings. It's really, um, I must tell, I was also among those. <laughs> so, uh, it's really very beautiful in the beginning. You are just getting, oh, oh, it's something, it's something very big, it's something, wow. <laughs> but but finally you never get to the to the end of what is this actually what this actually is uh, so i i went to meditate in the halkoria jungle many times deep in the jungle alone because i just wanted to connect with bonjon and just uh, feel uh, because i am a yogini from my childhood nearly teenager years so i have uh, meditation techniques and uh, uh, talent and uh, practice behind me. So I just connected with Bonjon to find out this, where is this feeling coming from, why, why? But I never came to the end because there is no end, there is no sense and there is no solution after all this. So uh, the real spiritual path, like the Advaita Yoga of um, Sri Ramana Maharishi, for example, then you have these exercises, you have this practice, and then it's clear, it's pure. So you are getting more and more clear about things in your uh, meditation and things in your uh, daily life and things, your permanent questions about creation and the world, etc. But in Bonjon's Dharma, you are just getting more confused. Uh, you are getting more and more visions, more and more feelings, strange atmospheres, uh, even some people strange perfumes, strange, um, strange uh, audio experiences, and you are just getting more confused. What is this all? You are just getting. It's like um, you are throwing uh, your dog a piece of the chocolate. And the dog, dog doesn't know how much chocolate you have, and the, the dog doesn't know uh, that the rest of the chocolate is uh, maybe not so tasty. <laughs> so it's like mixed with something else. That you just take a piece and you throw it to the, cho the dog, and the dog is like waiting for the rest. So this is exactly this uh, soul farming of Bom Jun that he gives you like a and there he gives you like spiritual experiences. Uh, yes, again, this video is not for people who are secular. I myself tend to be more secular. Again, I was very secular uh, in my childhood, thanks to my family. And even during yoga, I was kind of secular because yoga is a scientific and secular path. You are not supposed to believe your uh, feelings and uh, strange voices and noises and visions, no. Yoga and Advaita is a very scientific path and originally Buddha's Gautambitha's teaching, teaching is as well.